Alright, I just finished setting up OBS to record the game. Apparently, you need to run OBS as admin to be able to capture the game. Uh, long story short, the character that I am playing right now uh, lost her brothers and is trapped in this world. Uh, we saved a fairy light character named Paimon two months ago and she is going to guide us throughout this game. So this is going to be my first impression of playing the game. I will be showing the early sections of the tutorial. So, spoiler alerts! I, di I didn't play Zelda, so, but I have experience playing Reckoning. Kingdom, Kingdom of Amalu Reckoning. Uh, is quite similar to Jinson Impact as well. It's an open world game, RPG. The stamina depletes quite fast, so it's not great to travel long distance. Uh, we are expected to be doing a lot of sightseeing. Depletes stamina and depleted stamina takes time to recover. Okay, let's take the route we planned. We're off to a statue of the seven. Which of the seven are you looking for exactly? over the world. Among the seven gods, this Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god, but... Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first, and there's a reason why. As we all know, poetry and language flow like the... Oops, <laughs> that's not intentional. Um, I play FPS games, so I got used to right-click being the button to zoom in. Uh, we should able to climb back up, right? Maybe not, but there is a way uh, to go back on the right-hand side. So I have to talk to Paimon again. Uh, That's a statue of the set. There are a few among the Paimon's not sure Paimon. Okay, let's, let's try to stick with her this time. Wow, she's As fast. As you all know, uh, poetry and language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your brother. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. Is that a you fox never know or unless you try. So let's hop to it. Okay, there's a chest over there. Uh, let's get it. Okay, now let's go back to Paimon. Um, where did she go? Um, did he she despawn? Uh, we can't trigger the event, uh, so I guess I have to re I have to redo that again. Of the seven. 
You can swim right over. Did you just feel the elements of the world? Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of Animo! As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. Uh-huh! It's because you're not from this world to begin with! I'm a monster! If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom! Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of Animo! So perhaps, because you got pa there are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your brother. Let's move then! The elements in this world responded to your prayers, and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. Speaking of caution. being cautious, I think I just got us into trouble. Nah, not a big deal. Big spoilers ahead. that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. <sighs> of course not. Oh, what's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock. Let's go take a closer look. The English voiceover Be is very careful. good. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before. So Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Right, where do we put it? Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. Did we just take it? Yeah, so putting it away means stealing it. Uh, now let's run. Introduction to the bunny girl. Hey, she even jumped like a bunny too. May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. Well, we're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. Speaking of names, my friends named the characters Layman, 
<laughs> Even the fruits doesn't sound like a local name to uh, Amber. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake. Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? At the ready. I read about the Y-axis sensitivity being too low in the game. Uh, even in the aiming mode, the Y-axis sensitivity is still pretty low. Uh, besides that, right now we can't change our keybind. So I'm stuck with WASD. Uh, in fact, I'm a ESDF guy. That means I shift all my binding to the right by one button so that I can access more buttons on the keyboards. Nothing to it. Though I've gotta say, you surprised me a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious storm terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why does Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky, sticky honey roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. This used to be a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. I guess taking stair is not common in this city. Because climbing is faster. Why not build a stair right here in the first place? Yeah, instead of there. So, 
So, the present I want to give you is... a wind glider! Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you, so you can experience it right away. Wow, oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Oh. Alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. The glider is pretty slow. I wish it would go a bit more faster. Apparently you can die from uh, fall damage as well. Uh, not sure about the control. The sky! Thank you for watching, uh, beside the camera control being a bit not so good, I have high expectations for the stories and the open world content of the games. Jinshin Impact is free to play so do play it yourself if you want to know what happened to her.